So being anonymous can bring huge upsides when it comes to betting. But what about the downsides? What about the risks? Since my previous upload about crypto betting, I've decided to do a little bit of research of my own, and this video is about everything that I have found. From the top then, main concerns about crypto betting online. First of all, is it a legitimate thing to do? Secondly, what are the chances of losing all your money, being scammed, being tricked, fooled, ripped off, all that kind of horrible stuff that you read about on the internet from time to time. First question is really quite easy to answer. Whether you like crypto or not, crypto betting online is totally legitimate. It's reasonable. There are lots of reputable providers out there, as I mentioned in last week's upload, that um, will accept cryptocurrencies such as Pinnacle, for example. Now, the next part is probably the most important part for you guys and for myself when venturing into the world of crypto betting. Because a lot of companies, not all, but a lot of the companies that provide crypto betting are actually registered in Sirico, a small island in the middle of nowhere where the government's willing to register um, fully regulated licenses for betting companies to operate online. Um, that regulation actually stands for very little when you look at the finer detail as we'll go into in just a second and I'll show you what I've found. Now there's good reason that companies would want to register there and I actually think that it could be a great opportunity for a legitimate company to pop up and actually compete with many that are out there because there's a chance for lower margin, um, less regulation. Now if you're registered in Sirico you can get 0% VAT, 0% tax and that can be a massive advantage in the world of business. On top of that, obtaining a gambling license from the government of Sirico only costs $35,000 a year. So that's extremely cheap in terms of betting licensing, which to one degree or another gives you the opportunity to do more or less what you like. Now what comes with a gambling license from Sirico is they will regulate the games and the uh, betting activities that are offered to the customers to make sure that they are fair. To say that you know, you're not playing on a casino where all games are rigged where you lose, for example. That's not to say that they're interested in dealing with customer disputes, redress, looking into the finer details of how these companies are working. And I mean like at all. Now looking around online, a little bit deeper digging, and you find that there's plenty of cases where people have deposited money into one of these platforms with cryptocurrency, They've been advised to use a VPN because they're in a country whereby they shouldn't really be using that product, gamble their money away, and on the occasion that they do win, when it comes to withdrawing money, the company turns around and says, we now need to verify your identity, where at which point, if they see that you have accessed their site from a location via a VPN where you shouldn't have been using them, they then withhold the funds and stop you from taking them back, to which the uh, Sirico government have no interest in following up. So it's all very um, similar to UK problems where gambling operators use know your customer checks and stuff like that against successful customers, but that's already happening online in the crypto betting space. Now I can't see any reports of this happening on any of the exchange betting products or the products that tend to be focused on sports betting only at this point in time anyway, although there is many cases like this with people using casino products. Now I don't want to tar them all with the same brush because like I said previously, Previously, there are legitimate companies out there that accept cryptocurrency, which are absolutely fine. And there are also the opportunity for up and coming stuff that could be registered in Sirico legitimately. That said, it doesn't look very good overall at all. The majority of companies there do look a little bit questionable. So what can you do if you want to avoid getting scammed from using crypto betting products? Well, first of all, you can take a look at where the company is registered. If the company is, for example, founded in Bolivia, now registered in Cyprus, regulated by Sirico, then you probably want to give it a swerve. Although, if there's real world credentials behind it from a legitimate company that seems to be operating open and fair and transparently, then you could potentially take things a little bit further. If you do that, always remember never to deposit more than you can afford to lose. And also, remember to consistently withdraw small amounts as you win them bit by bit. You don't wanna allow your account balance to accrue a massive amount to then go and withdraw six figures in one go and find that they turn around and hold your money from withdrawal. In most cases, I think for anyone with half a brain cell, it's quite obvious if a company's being quite questionable when you're doing a little bit of online digging because typically they'll have you know sales pages 16 miles long. It'll be registered by Chaz and Dave and 
again the details won't go to real world locations if they do it you you want to check that it's actually the place they're saying it is for example i've seen it before now online where the addresses don't even exist or if they do they've just been somebody else's address i think the worst one that i've seen was actually a children's crash in newcastle was registered as the next miracle betting product with made up company numbers now also sadly to report i've seen from other videos online there's some very good ones we'll put a link in the description down below uh, where online streamers and gamers are now promoting a lot of these crypto betting products online towards children and minors and telling people to use VPNs to sign up. I know it's just absolutely disgusting. I can't believe that it's actually happening, but it is. So make sure that you do your due diligence is what I'm saying. Don't part of any more cash than you'd be willing to lose. And if you do, go into it with your eyes wide open and expect that the worst could inevitably happen. Now this video took me a little bit of time to find the underlying details about some of this stuff with Sirico and how it all operates with companies in different locations. So please, if you don't mind, just take two seconds to tap the like button down below and check out this video here in the end screen.